When I got the after pictures after after just a few months, because um, I wasn't feeling that I was seeing much of a change, my clothes were still fitting pretty much the same, um, but seeing the pictures really showed me that I had been making progress. I did not see a lot of difference in my before and after pictures for a while, but Danita did. I'm my own worst critic, we all are. If I could really see the difference between the first, the very first one and the last. Do a circuit training for our upper body and we're gonna start with a proper form of clean and press. So clean and press, you always wanna make sure that you have your feet hip distance apart, your, your knees are slightly bent, and your hips are right underneath your core, so you're not out here, right? You've got a nice, good, strong core. You're going to bring your elbows up, elbows are high, and then you're gonna drop them down and it's gonna go right to your chest, okay? Then after that, watch this guy right here, okay? You can come right here for a little bit. And then you're gonna press, Good, keeping your core nice and tight. Come on down, flip those elbows up, and then drop it down. That was a clean and press. Let's do it again. Elbows high, elbows low. Elbows low, elbows low, elbows high. Good. Elbows high, elbows low. Beautiful. Up, down, down. Okay, good. Now go a little faster. Let it flip into your hand. Let it just flip into your hand. Good. Good, you got it. Now watch, watch Stace. She's done this a lot with me. So you can kind of see how she's just really flipping that and it's a nice, good rotation. Keep going. This is your guys' warm up. Good. You're right here, so give me a press. Down, flip those elbows up and down. So the whole thing, go ahead and watch Stacey again. I literally have it like where it's, like, I'm like barely holding it. Yeah, you let it slide into your hands. Here's the thing that I'm paying attention to. Did you see how close this bar is to her body? She could literally take her shirt off with that bar. So go ahead and do, do it again for me. Look how close it is to her body. She's not moving the bar like this. That's gonna hinder your low back. So let's go ahead and see. Perfect. Amy's got it, yeah. And the reason how to keep it so close to your body is by keeping your elbows really close in. Can we show you? Yeah. So here's what not to do, right? Okay, here's what to do. Notice my elbows the whole way through. They're either high or they're low. Notice my knees are always slightly bent. Notice my core is always nice and tight, okay? All right, so Stace, let's now incorporate. We're gonna go lunge, okay? Clean and press, squat with it, back down, clean and press. Lunge, uh, sorry, sorry, deadlift. So give yourself a little bit of some room, everyone. We're gonna go into a lunge, stop here, Clean and press, hold it above your head, go into a squat, good, bring it down, down, good, Dead lift. beautiful, here, clean and press, perfect, squat with it over your head, beautiful, back down to your chest, and down, good, Dead lift. good, I'm gonna fix those clean and presses, that's okay, right here, elbows high, Cause it's a little too heavy. Okay, okay. So let's go. Let's go a little lighter on this one. Okay. Using the band in your exercises is going to help support your hips and your knees and your joints. So if you're having a little bit of some instability, it's really good to incorporate in your workout. So let's go ahead and go over your deadlifts really quick. Go ahead and pick up your bar. When you pick up your bar, make sure that you're picking it up with your booty down first. Right. Roll your shoulders up and back. Chest is up. Bend your knees slightly. Core is nice and tight. A deadlift, we're gonna go into a straight leg deadlift. Booty comes out, come up and squeeze your glutes. From right here, elbows high, elbows low. Press up, give me a nice good little squat right here. Beautiful, stand up, back down to your chest. Flip and down, go back into your deadlift. Beautiful, good, up, up. Nice good squat. Good, here, here. Clean, squat, press. Back down, flip it down, deadlift. Deadlift. When you're doing the deadlift, are we looking, I always forget, are we looking down? If you're looking at me just because you're kind of learning the movement, but you do want to keep your neck in alignment with your, with your spine, okay? 
So deadlift here, go into your clean, give me a nice good squat, press, back down, back down, deadlift. Beautiful, perfect, squat. Is that better? Awesome. <laughs> so let me see, deadlift, beautiful, <laughs> clean. We're, no, we're not gonna squat with it up over our head. So we'll do it again. So go back down here, okay? So deadlift, perfect, right here. Elbows high, elbows low. A little bit more of a smooth smoothness, okay? Drop it down. So deadlift, stand up. Okay, you really wanna bring those elbows high and low in a quick movement. There you go. Okay. And now squat right there. Beautiful. Press, back down, flip those arms, and back down. Good, go back into it. Elbows high, elbows low, perfect. Squat, good, press. Awesome, go ahead and drop the bar. Great job, that was your warm up. Right, you incorporated lower body and upper body to get your heart rate going, okay? Go ahead and uh, if you want to take your band off, let's put, let's put your, your weight, your dumbbells, your weights back. As I'm running through the circuit, I'm gonna just basically be watching you guys as you're doing the right form, okay? So go ahead and just watch me as I do it all. You're gonna take your opposite hand to the opposite ball over here. If you need help, if you're a little shorter, I can help you. The opposite hand, opposite ball, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cross the balls right up at the top. It's gonna be right over my the top of my head. The reason why we're doing this exercise is I love it for posture, okay? So you're basically crossing the, the back chain of your back. So from here, you're gonna squeeze down into a 90 degree angle. Again, from here to here. Notice that my knees are slightly bent, my core is nice and tight, and I'm not wobbling all over the place. You don't wanna be doing like that, right? Stay nice and still. Squeeze in your back. Yep, yep. You can do this the same too as well. Next you're going to take a step back. Your hands are going to cross in front of your face and then you're going to bring your arms back. Okay, you're going to give me 10 and 10 on this one. Stacey, if you'll go ahead and start, okay? Awesome, so for right over here we're going to go into pull-ups. So this is called an assisted pull-up machine. So this, the, the extra weight here is gonna actually make it easier for you to do a pull-up, okay? So I'll demonstrate. So you're gonna step up, step on here, gonna get a nice good wide grip here. You're gonna go here, elbows come in, and you're gonna use your chest, to uh, use your back, but your chest is going to be leading the way, okay? So a lot of mistakes, you don't wanna do that, right? You wanna go here. And you're gonna exhale when it's difficult. So I'm gonna exhale, inhale on the way down. Also keep your core nice and tight. I don't wanna see like monkey moves, right? After that, so you're gonna give me 10 pull-ups. After that, you're gonna bring it up about halfway. So around 10 is fine. This is the chest exercise I wanna teach you. Put your hands on the, on the widest part of it. You're gonna press it down. Your body's gonna go parallel to the floor. Here's what you wanna do. You wanna go right to your chest and press it down. Right to your chest, push it down. Notice where my elbows are. They're in a low V, right? They're not T, low V, okay? Here's also what I'm watching out for. You don't wanna do this. I'm working more of my traps there. None of us wanna build, build traps. So stay parallel to the ground and press here. Bicep curl, shoulder press, down, down. Again, notice my core is nice and tight. My shoulders are back and my chest is always up. Exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. Cool, awesome. We're gonna do this one. Turn ourselves a little bit further in. So where this, this is about mid on your thighs. From here, keep your chest popped up. And as you notice, I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm connecting into my back. So instead of just pulling down and thinking of all these different muscles that are working, instead I'm actually connecting and I'm activating my back. So I'm going to activate, see how I'm activating, and then I'm gonna pull through. See that? And without relaxing and letting it go, I'm gonna stay in that activation and pull while I'm still in that activation. You see that? So go ahead and fill my back. Go ahead and put your hand right there, a little bit lower. Perfect. So there's my activation, oh, and then I'm pulling into it. Yeah. Cool? Awesome. Yeah. So 
Go ahead and try that one. Press, down and down. So you notice you kind of are like hinging a little bit in your core. So open your feet up a little bit more. Bend your knees, tighten it really good. Push, push, down, down. Beautiful. Good, good. I'm gonna grab some lighter weight too, okay? You're a little bit in your traps, so I'm gonna say move up a little bit more until that kind of comes more at your chest rather than at your collarbone. Uh huh. And think about your chest and your arms doing the work rather than your traps, right? Good. Perfect. Just like that, yep. Good, activating all through here. Perfect. Yep, that is awesome. Cool, so you're gonna cross right up over your head and you're gonna come, so let's see those knees. Open your legs up, give yourself that good base. So always remember, anytime you do like any start of an exercise, think of your feet first and then go up to your body and then make sure everything's in alignment because if you're like all twisted and your core's not tight, we could end up leading to maybe an injury or doing it wrong or whatever, right? So always mentally think, you'll always have like a little denita like, like on your like ear. Yeah. So think knee, like so your feet, right? Ground yourself, okay. bend your knees, tighten your core. Now you're ready to start. So you're up. Like when I tighten, it's like the right? Yeah. Like, like, kind of like kick off. Yeah, like you're just grounding yourself. Okay, okay yeah. Like just dig yourself into the ground. Okay. So like let's say if somebody like was accidentally to like bump into you, look how stable you are right there. Yeah. You didn't move anywhere, right? Yeah. But if I were to do that and your feet were together and you didn't ground yourself yet, you could easily like fall in, right? Okay. Cool. So hands up over your head and then you're going to come down into that, that box. So I want a perfect 90 degree angle. Perfect. And then come back up. Beautiful. You're going to give me 10 here. And then inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Using all your back. Yep, I can feel it working. Squeeze. Good. This is all posture. Perfect. Good. How are we feeling? Let's do three rounds, okay? Three rounds of this. Good. See how just tight and firm you feel right here? Cool. Squeeze your abs every single time. Good. Perfect. No movement, no fish out of water. They're doing awesome. PT today yeah. is just one way. Okay. I was a sculptor when I was a trainer, so I move hands all over the place. Okay. So the fact that you're grabbing it, grabbing it right there, that's not wrong. That's okay. totally right. It can definitely work, right? Yeah. So you can grab there, and I want you to do 10 there, and then I'm gonna have you go on the outside and you give me 10 more, okay? okay. So go ahead and grab on the inside grips. Okay. Step up here, that was perfect that you put it on that, that weight, so that's gonna help you through this. I know, it feels a little weird. Oh. Okay, straighten your body out. You're gonna keep your core nice and tight through here and lead with your chest and squeeze your back muscles as you come up. Beautiful, awesome, perfect. That's it. It's life or death. You gotta get out of this hole that you're in and you gotta just lift yourself up out of that hole. Those look great. And you're gonna exhale when you come up. You don't wanna hold your breath the whole time because then you're gonna start turning black and blue in the face or purple. Good. Lean back for me here. Drop those shoulder blades back a little bit. Pop that chest up a little bit more. There you go, that's what I'm looking for. Now come back and squeeze. So you're feeling it all in through here. Now you're feeling it? Good. Is that okay with the Yeah, you can totally position your stance like that. That's awesome. Good. And you're working on the way back too. So I love that you're going slow through the whole thing. Slow, slow. Slow, slow. Good, good. Nice and controlled movements. Stacy looks very controlled. Have that mind-body connection, knowing that if you use this. Yeah, you feel it there? Yay! So you feel like one shoulder's kind of popping more than the other, do you feel that? So let's go ahead and step off. Okay. So what that means, if you're kind of feeling like a pop, 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 mm -hmm. right? We should actually go lower in weight. Okay. So I'm gonna go drop it all the way down to 20. Okay. And now what you're gonna do when you go into it, drop your shoulders down and try not to have that pop, pop, pop feel. Okay. Be very controlled and connect into your body though. Let's see if we change it, okay? Beautiful. Good, there's no popping. She's connecting into her body. Beautiful. Oh, you feel a little popping. Pop that chest up a little bit more for me. Good, and focus right into here. Activate here. There you go, that's it. 
So what you're doing now is you're using your back muscles and not your shoulder muscles as you do that, right? Okay. Stuff you learned today. Now you can go to the gym and you can work your back, your chest, your biceps. You did such a good job. Good, focus, focus, squeeze. I'm actually gonna move your hands now, so move your hands on the outer part. Okay. Yep, kind of change a little bit of an angling. Now try it again. Perfect. So feel what this feels like, yeah. and remember that you can do this on your own, knowing that it feels yeah, like this. Definitely in my arms. Arms, right here. feel right yeah, in here. Cool. Good. Just doing it right. Amy's a perfect model right now, not moving her core anywhere. So you guys can see that we have, Stacy is a little bit more advanced. She's been training with me a couple years now, where this is her first day in the gym. This was Sydney's first day in the gym. So being able just to kind of tap into the body, having the mind-body connection and learning like how to activate those muscles is a different experience. You don't come out of the womb and just know exactly how to contract and squeeze those muscles. So this is all a learning experience. And once Stacy learned exactly which muscles it is she's, she's using, she's able to have a strong core and really move through the exercises how she should. Don't like put them in. Go ahead and, and activate in here and then squeeze and think, yes. See how you just roll those shoulders back like that and your chest went up? Now go ahead and pull through. Good. And let me fill all through here. Squeeze like my hands down here. Good. Awesome. Perfect. You already have that connection into your body, which is awesome. She might need a stretch. Oh, yeah. I haven't done that before. Oh, you haven't? Yep. Okay. So let's try it with this one. So sorry. Nope. <laughs> Honey, you're learning. Yeah. <laughs> she had to learn with me as well. Okay. It takes a lot. So, yeah. so what it is, is okay. she's transforming quicker and quicker and quicker now yeah. because she's able to have that connection with her body. Yeah. Cool? cool? So let's try this one. Okay. So this one's going to be working the back. So again, kind of into the lat area. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and sit on in. Keeping your, you want to get a nice good snug in there because this is what's going to kind of ground you into the machine. Okay. Kind of like when I'm making you like ground yourself over there, you're grounding yourself and that's what the whole point of this is too. So kind of slide in a little bit more for me. Perfect. We're going to start off with a little lighter weight because here's the problem. People start lifting too heavy of weight and that's what ends up causing your body to learn the wrong message. Okay. You don't want to use every muscle in your body to pull something down. You want to be able to connect into that one muscle group to say, this is the one that I want to work, right? So here's the thing, always think chest up, right? So chest up, booty down. That's, that's how women like to pick things up. Okay, so go ahead and look. So you're, we're gonna lean back a little bit by popping that chest up, good, awesome. I'm gonna kind of walk my fingers up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to activate the back first, okay? okay? So you're gonna activate these for me without even pulling down, just activate these for me. Good, you kinda did it. Imagine these are going down into like your, like they're, they're going down into your rib cage. So kind of drop them down by like bringing your chest, your chest up. Okay. Exactly, so now watch me do it, okay? Put your hands right here on my back. You see that? So then when I pull through, I'm not just gonna pull through like this, Notice that I'm not doing anything with my back, but watch this. Yeah. Feel that difference now? Yeah. So what you're doing is you're learning how to activate that one area. Okay. Cool? So go ahead and grab up onto the handles again. <laughs> so do what I did. Activate through here now. Relax everything else and just activate here. Good. Now go ahead and pull through. Beautiful. Good. Awesome. Great job on your first day. Are you kidding me? Good, keep that chest nice and popped up. It's almost like you're bringing your chest right to this like inside of the bar here. Bring your chest to it. Perfect, yep. Focus, focus here, yep, good. Yep, that's it. Now guess what? You'll be burning so much fat through here and you'll be shredded and shrinking and you're getting more and more sculpted now that you're hitting this spot. Do you feel that? Yeah. It almost is gonna start getting like like burnt out almost really quickly because you're it's such a small muscle right there. Okay. Let's go a little heavier now because you did it so good. Okay. Activate first. Yeah, chest up, shoulders back. Feels a little weird, I know. Okay, go ahead and pull through. There you go. That's it. Good. See how you're going slow on the way up too? Yeah. You're still using all those muscles while you're going up too. So you're pulling them down and and using them when you go up. So Stacy has a great handle over here. 
Were you able to see her fully extend while still staying and activating into her back and pulling through? Being able to get a full range of motion here is what's going to allow that whole entire muscle to be worked rather than just part a portion of it. This is perfect. Yep. Good job on your breathing. Kind of lean back a hair. Keep your spine in alignment and your chest is gonna pop up for me. There you go, good. Now activate here and pull through. Good. Good. All the way up. Now you have that full range. That looks better. Here's the thing too. See how this line is right here? When you're pulling it down, pull it down for me. Notice how you're kind of coming at a little bit of an angle like this. Lean back so it's coming straight down from this angle right here. Okay. In one line. This rope is one line. It's not going to angle anywhere. So go ahead and pull it. Yes. There we go. And it doesn't need to go in front of your chest. It just go to the top of your chest. Because okay. the thing is, you're not working your arms to get it down. You're just going to go to back and back up. Okay. Back and back up, right? Okay. Perfect. Yep, that's it. That was awesome. <laughs> so usually, usually why I say 20, you usually want to go a little lighter weight and more reps. And what that does is it's just going to shrink you, right? If you were doing like really heavy weight and only able to get about five pounds or five reps in, you're building more than anything. And it's not like you really actually have testosterone in you to build. So don't honestly ever be afraid to lift weights because all you're doing is you're putting lean muscle mass on yourself and you're gonna look great. Yeah, but keeping it at high reps will be perfect, okay? So lower weights, high reps. Lower weights, high reps, but at the same token, not so light a weight that you actually don't feel your muscles burning, right? right? If you get to about, I, I usually say around seven to 10 reps and you're really feeling it, that means that's the right amount of weight for you. If you're getting to 15 and you're like, you know, I'm kinda not really feeling it, maybe, it's way too light for you, right? So kind of being able to be aware of that and also being able to know, like for example, I can see which exercises you're going too heavy because your form is all of a sudden not good anymore, right? So if you're starting to use other muscles or you're like pulling with your shoulders, I'm like, whoa, 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 we need to back up and go lighter so you're really just connected into it and you're staying focused in that one area. So we did all upper body, I'm super impressed. We didn't really have time for the lower body and I would love to do lower body with you guys. So is it all right if maybe have one more day in here that we do some lower body stuff? We do go leg press and some other stuff. Is that cool? Yeah. Your lean proteins, make sure you're getting your vegetables in, which is all your fiber. Make sure you're drinking your water and stuff like that because the days that you just went and lifted weights, you're gonna find yourself a ravenous. Like, ah! like why am I so hungry? It's because those muscles in your body are like, I need nutrients. You just fried me, right? I'm burnt, you just burn tons and tons of calories right now. So now your body's going, whoa, 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 I need something. So to get that nice, good, tight, sculpted look, do your weightlifting, but make sure that your diet is, on, is perfect too. Cool? I am a trainer that's based on progression, not perfection, okay? I don't expect you to have the most perfect diet, okay? What I do expect is if you were slabbing on mayo and cheese and like everything else, Okay, instead of slabbing all that on like you did before, if it was maybe a cup of all that before, if you do a half a cup now. And you're gonna notice, you're not gonna miss that much mayo and that much cheese. If you slowly start limiting it out of your diet, as same as sugar, slowly limit it out, eventually you'll be like, maybe I'll just have black coffee or maybe I'll not do cheese this time. But it's gonna be a nightmare if you try to go from a cup of cheese to all of a sudden zero, you're gonna be like, nope, that cheese was good. I'm gonna go back to it. You see what I mean? So my progression of just slowly limiting the things out of your diet, replacing them with good substitutes, that's how you're gonna ha have an everlasting, a perfect, strong diet, and you're not gonna feel like you're on a diet, you're gonna feel like you weaned yourself off those areas that you needed to, right? One thing I, you, you taught me to do is, you know, get a sandwich from like Jersey Mike's or someplace, wherever I'm getting it, and just cut, take off one slice of the, the bread, and then I also now take off my cheese too, so I definitely learned how to do that. Yeah, like I was, I swear, I was crazy about breads. Like, I couldn't see a bread. Um, I, I swear, her. No, I'm like, I bread. Um, and then I start like, and I hated salad. I swear, I hated salad. I'm like, why? And then I started putting on my salad what I like, like nuts. I love nuts. And then I'm like, what else I can put it? You know, like what kind of sauce I like? I don't like sauces, so I, I ended up not putting anything besides olive oil and balsamic. That's it. That's the way I like it. And a little bit of like dried fruit, like just a tiny bit, and I try to buy the ones with no added sugar, just dried. Yeah. 
And then I eat, the bread it was smaller and smaller and smaller. And at some point I'm like, I don't even know why I'm eating the bread because I actually don't feel it. Yeah. And that's the way I eat it. Nowadays I like I don't care for bread. Yeah. And believe me, I was like a bread eater, like bread, bread, bread. Yeah. I love it. Diet program just basically gives the knowledge to you first of what your plate should look like. First of all, what to eat, you know, like what's what's a good portion size. Number one, don't starve yourself. That's the worst thing that you can do. Then you go through binging into starvation, into this back and forth, back and forth. And being able to find something like sustainable is that small progression as you go along and you find those little substitutes. And that's honestly, I'm giving you what I did because I went from an office job, everybody loved to bring donuts in, and I just sat there thinking, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna have one, and then it went up to five, you know what I mean? And then I just started looking at myself and I was like, this is not what I wanna look like. And so then I was like, okay, so when they bring them in, I'm only gonna have two today, you know what I mean? And then I was like, okay, and then I weaned myself off, I'm like, now I'm just gonna chew it and then I'm gonna spit it out. Like, I just need that like in my mouth and I'm gonna spit it out. But I went through this like weird, like transition phase happening to cut out of it. And then once I did that, I was like, all right, well, I'm looking, I'm like, I, I'm not really like, I'm not happy with my body yet. What else can I do? So then it was, okay, milk, like dairy, you know, the cheese, the alcohol, and then uh, dressings and bread, right? Those things that just love the, uh, to make up our American diet. I would always let the restaurant put whatever they wanted on my salad. And now I'm like, you know what? No. Yeah. Why do they get to choose what's on my... Uh, I feel like sometimes when they make a Caesar salad, it's drenched in everything. Oh, yeah. And I honestly don't enjoy it. And once you learn how many calories, or in that, you'll be like shocked, right? So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna put it on the side yeah. and I'm gonna add my own to it now. And I went from, okay, half, to about three, you know, one fourth. And then now I'm like, I'll just put my fork in like the dressing and I'll kind of dip it in or whatever. And like, it just kind of went through that like stage. So this is a perfect diet conversation that we'll add into the diet. Um, but yeah, that, that's where I took my diet and now, now I love what I eat. So my, my girls just had their workout, so they have 30 minutes, within 30 minutes roughly, but you wanna be able to get your proper diet, so getting your protein, your good carbs, get your vegetables in, uh, right in, so she get the, the muscles are able to soak, 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 soak up the nutrients. <laughs> it was a successful day, I'm excited for day four with you guys.